We're going to talk about dollars and cents in this lesson. This is 9.7. We know there's a hundred pennies in a dollar. Remember? One dollar equals 100 pennies. We can count dollar bills and change to get a total. We count the dollar bills first, then count the coins starting with the larger values first. So to count this money right here, we would start with the dollar, and then we would start counting the coins that are worth more first. We have a quarter, that's 25 cents, a nickel, that's five cents, and a penny, that's one cent. We start with the dollar, we add the quarter, that's a dollar plus 25 cents makes a dollar 25 cents. We take the dollar 25 cents and add that nickel, and now we have a dollar 30 cents. We add the penny, now we have a dollar plus one cent, that's a dollar 31 cents. And this little point right here, see that little dot? That's a decimal point, and it separates the dollars from the cents. See? Keeps them apart from each other. So let's see if we can count this money. We start with the dollars first. How many dollars do we see? One, two, three, four dollars. And how much in coins? We have a dime and a penny. That's a ten and a one. Ten, eleven. We have four dollars and eleven cents. Let's try this one. How many dollars do we see? I see two dollars. And how much money is here? We have a quarter and we have a nickel. That's twenty-five and five. That's thirty. So we have two dollars and thirty cents. Let's try another one. Start with the dollars. How many dollars do we see? Just one, right? Now let's count the coins. There's two dimes, a nickel, and four pennies. Do you remember what two dimes and a nickel equals? 10, 20, and a five is 25. It's the same thing as a quarter, isn't it? Two dimes and a nickel. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. A dollar 29. Let's try another one. We start with the dollars. How many dollars do we see? One, two, three. Three dollars. We have a half dollar and we have two nickels. The half dollar is 50 cents and each nickel is five cents. Five and five is 10. So that's 50, 60. We have three dollars and 60 cents. All right. Let's circle the bills and coins needed to equal the given amount. We need to circle the bills and coins that will be $1.32. So we only have one dollar that we need, so we can just circle one of the dollars, right? We don't need the other one. Now we need to circle 32 cents. Well, we have a quarter, a nickel, five pennies, and we have a dime over here, don't we? How can we make 32 cents? Here's 25, and if we add 5 to it, that's 30, 31, 32. So we could do these coins to make the 32, couldn't we? That would be a dollar and 32 cents. Let's try this one. We need two dollars and 27 cents. Well, I see two dollars right here, two one dollar bills. So we need both of them, don't we? Now we need to make 27 cents. I see one, two, three, four dimes, a nickel, and two pennies. So how can we make 27 cents? Well, two dimes is 20, and a nickel is 25, and we can do 26, 27. So if we circle these, we'll have the 27 cents, and that will be $2.27. If we wrote it with words, we would write two dollars with a hyphen in between it, right here, and that's the decimal point, the and, 27, and the, there's a hyphen in between 20 and 7 cents, two dollars and 27 cents. Now here's a five dollar bill, and it's got a picture of Abraham Lincoln on the front, and we can see it says five dollars at the bottom, and there's a five in each corner, that's a five dollar bill. A $5 bill is equal to five $1 bills. It's the same value. You could get change from a store or a bank and change that $5 bill into five singles, into five ones. 
So how much do we have here? I see a $5 bill and a $1 bill. So we add the bills first. That's five, six. And now I see a quarter and a dime and two pennies. So that quarter is 25. We have a dime that's 10 and two ones, don't we? 25, we can skip count 10 to 35, 36, 37. Six, and we've got our decimal point, three, seven. If we wrote this, it would be $6 with a hyphen in between the 6 and the dollars and 37 with a hyphen in between the 30 and the 7 cents. This decimal point is read as the word and. We have our dollar sign here. We read the decimal point as and, okay? Even in regular math, even if it's just a decimal number, you read the decimal point as the word and. $6 and 37 cents, okay? So if you've got some play money, you can practice counting the money, or maybe you've got some real money you can practice counting. You could even make your own play money. Just make rectangles of paper and put the value. If it's a, if making a $1 bill, you can put ones in each corner with a face in the center. If you're making a $5 bill, you can put five in each corner with a face in the center. And make your own money, okay? And you can use little circles of paper for coins if you want. That's if you don't have play money or real money to play with, okay? And you can practice counting. All right, we're going to continue on talking about hundreds, tens, and ones. In the next video, we're going to talk about less than and greater than, okay? So I hope I'll see you there. Bye.